What's up guys, it's Brad from Light Architect. In this video, I'm going to show how you can relight your CG renders in the compositing process utilizing normal pass data. As you guys know, if you watch this channel, I'm always emphasizing the importance of matching the 3D lighting on your CG elements to your live action shot. And as I mentioned before, the best way to do this is to reconstruct the environment of your live action shot inside of the computer and then add 3D lights to your scene that match where the live action lights are coming from as well. However, in certain cases, you want a lot more flexibility in the compositing process to relight your shots. And that's what the normal pass information allows you to do. This technique is not going to be as physically accurate as lighting your 3D element inside the 3D environment, but it allows you a lot of flexibility in your 2D compositing process. So anyways guys, let's get started. Here we are inside of Blender. To show this technique of using the normal pass to relight your CG elements, I'm going to be adding some bats to this live action shot using our Spiderfy add-on. We have just added a free update to this add-on with both vampire bat systems as well as Australian bat systems. So we hope you guys enjoy that update. And if you'd like to get Spiderfy, I'll put a link in the description below. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to add some bats flying from the bottom left here past our character as he raises his hands here. So to do that, I'll go to our Spiderfy tab here. I'll use the vampire bat system and I'll name our system uh, bat flyby and we'll leave our bugs amount at 200. We'll add a goal for our bats and then I'll just select our 3D cursor on the bottom right here and then I'll click on add bug system. And now as you can see here, we have a bat system in our scene and we do need to adjust our uh, emitter as well as our goal object for the bats. I'll just drag our goal to the top left of our scene and then I'll take the emitter here and I'll scale it up a little bit on the X axis so we get a little bit of a bigger distribution of our bats and I'll drag it to the bottom right here. Let's try this out. All right, so something like this should be pretty good. Now, if we wanted to spend a little bit more time on this, we could reconstruct our 3D environment so that our bats movement would make a little bit more sense in our environment. But I think this should be pretty good for showing the example of using the normal pass to light these CG elements. So we're gonna go with this for now and I will actually bake our bat system really quick. So I'll select our bats, I'll go into our particle tab and under cache, I will bake the data here. And now we can play through our scene and it's not simulating them anymore. It's just baked and ready to go. If you're using Spiderfy, you can play around with the settings if you like, but I think this should be fine for the sake of this tutorial. Now I want to light these bats using a normal pass, but I do want some ambient light for the render. So what I'm going to do is under our world settings tab, I'm just going to add a very basic HDRI. So under color, I'll go to environment texture, and then I'll just import a very basic HDRI for some ambient lighting. So now if we go into rendered view, this is what we get. So pretty subtle lighting here, nothing too directional and a nice starting point for our render and composite. Now, just from looking at our live action shot here, we can see that there's a light just off camera above our character. So we're going to try to mimic this light on our bats using our normal pass data in the composite. So before we render these bats out, we do wanna make sure that normal pass is being exported as well. So I'll just go to our view layer properties and we have our combined beauty pass data so far but we also want to select to export our normal pass data in the compositor as well. So I'll select this here and now we'll be able to use that in our compositing process. All right, so now I'll just choose a frame here to render out really quick and we'll get into our compositing process. So I think I'll go with somewhere around frame 41 here. I think there's a nice variation of bats here. And for this specific composite, I'll render out 32 samples. I'll keep denoising on. I've selected our seed stopwatch for some noise variation. And I've added a little bit of motion blur in our render just 0.15 on the shutter. And then for film, you wanna make sure that our film is transparent so we can render our bats with an alpha channel. And uh, yeah, that should be pretty good. I'm also going to be rendering in cycles. And uh, yeah, let's get into our compositing process. So I'll go ahead and click on render and render image and let's get into it. All right guys, so this is our original bat CG render here. I'll go ahead and close our render window here and we'll go into our compositing tab. And to use our compositor, I'll click on the use nodes option. And now as you can see here, we have our bat render layer going into our composite. So we do have a few things we need to set up here before we get into the normal pass setup. I'll go ahead and press shift A. I do want to add a viewer node here really quick. Go ahead and connect our image to our viewer node. And now what I want to do is I want to overlay these bats on top of our live action shot. So I'll go ahead and press shift A, I'll add an input movie clip, and then I will select our movie clip that we have imported already into our scene. And now I'll press shift A again, we'll add a color alpha over and connect our movie clip into our alpha over node. And we'll flip these around 
And now, as you can see here, we have our bats overlaid on top of our movie clip. And let's get into compositing everything together. And already this is not terrible, however there's a lot we can do with the normal pass and some basic color correction to integrate them into the scene a bit better. So let's go ahead and just view what our normal pass is right off the bat. So I'll press shift A, I'll add a output viewer and we'll just grab our normal pass and take a look at it here. And you might be confused by how we're going to use this data, but essentially what the normal pass is, is it's color information that tells the direction information of the CG elements that you have rendered. So it's using the red, green, and blue values to tell the direction of the faces in our 3D render. And how I like to use this information inside of Blender is by using another node called a normal node. So I'll go ahead and press Shift A and I'll search for it here, normal and we'll add this right before our view node and then I'll export our dot into the image. And now we have a node for our normal values that we can sort of adjust to essentially create a luma mat based on the directional information of our CG render. So you can see we can move this uh, little ball around here on our normal node and you can see what it's doing here. It's just creating black and white values based on that directional information. So we can now use this normal data to now add light on our CG render in different areas. And there are a variety of ways to do this. However, what I'm going to do is actually use the dot output as a luma mat to mix between our beauty pass and a brighter version of our beauty pass. So I'll go ahead and choose a nice direction for our light here first by adjusting our ball here. I think probably, let's see here, we can move it way up. I think probably we want the ball around here. You can play around with how things are looking, but now you can see that the white values are the top portions of our bats here, which would match the direction of that light in the top of our live action shot. So we're now going to use this as a luma mat to brighten that area of our CG bat render. So to do that, what we're going to do is I'll press shift A, I'll add a color mix node, and I'll add this at our beauty pass output. And I'll go ahead and delete our viewer node here for now. And I'll connect the beauty pass of our bats to the bottom input of this mix node as well. And now what I want to do is I want to press shift A and I'm going to add an RGB curves and add this before our second beauty pass reaches our mix node. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to brighten up this render. And you can see I've brightened up the bats and now we can use the factor input in our mix node to mix between our normal version of the bats right here and the brightened version. And you can probably see where this is going. Now what we're going to do, instead of just using this as a slider, we're going to use our normal data to actually be the factor input of our mix node. And now as you can see here, we're actually using our normal data to mix between our brighter version of the bats and our darker version. But this is already looking like a much better composite and we're actually lighting these bats in a way that makes sense for the live action shot. So you can see here uh, we have before the normal pass relighting right here and then after we use the normal pass to relight our bats we have something like this. And this is looking pretty good however I will say that the black levels of our bats here is pretty dark and we also need to add a little bit more blur to our bats. So I'll go ahead and press shift A. I'll add a RGB curves node here and I'll just bring up the general brightness of our bats and then I'll also go ahead and add a blur node here as well. I'll go to filter blur, add this right here, increase the Y blur and the X blur a little bit so we can blend everything into our scene a bit better. Now we could also add some defocus based on the distance that the bats are from the camera. However, I'll probably save that for another tutorial. Um, but you can already see that we're utilizing that normal pass data to relight the bats in a way that matches our scene a bit better. So we can play around with the normal ball here and use this data to relight the bats in a way that makes more sense. And really at this point, the main thing I wanna tweak is our black levels of the bats. So we can play around with the curve setting here so these aren't crushing too much. And now we're actually relighting the bats using that normal pass data in a way that makes sense. And we can adjust the colors on our bats as well. I think they're a little bit blue. So what I might do, I'll just press shift A, I'll add another RGB curves here right before we overlay it on top of our live action footage. Maybe just dial back the blue slightly. And one more thing I wanna show you guys that we can actually do with this is change the color of the light that's hitting our bats. So under our RGB curves here, say for example, this was a very warm light, we could just take the brighter render that we're mixing in using our normal pass and we can press Shift A, add a color balance node, and then we can literally just warm up the light source. And now you can see we're getting a warmer light from that same direction. Now, obviously we're pushing this too far here and this light isn't that warm anyway, but this is just one way you can utilize this normal pass data 
to relight your elements once you've actually rendered your output. Anyways, guys, that is it for this video. I hope it was helpful. As always, feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions in the comment section below. Let us know what kind of visual effects tutorials you'd like to see next on the channel, and I'll see you next time.